Warning, the following video contains bad language and is only recommended for ages 13 and over. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. This is the Flamehead97 here. Hello everybody, this is Andrew Mamadat, and I'm here with Spiridu21 and with the Flamehead97, aka Dean Langley. Shout out to Spiridu21 and shout out to Bud Langley for having me on this sh on this collab rant. And we are going to be ranting about st stupid people who got famous for stupid reasons. Famous people, famous celebrities, who got famous for stupid reasons. So we're going to be talking about, I'm going to be talking about 10 different people that got famous for stupid reasons. But I know there are many, many more out there. But yeah, shout out to Spiritu21 and to Bud Langley, aka the Flamehead97. And I hope you guys enjoy the rant. This is going to be a dope ass collab. Now I thank Spiritu21 and Bud Langley for having me on here for this collab. There's that dumbass Lil Pump who is a very shitty, talentless rapper who acts very stupid and retarded and does stupid shit like piss on money. Hey there. Huh, yeah, the youngest, the youngest, richest rapper out here, bitch, hey, I'm in London right now, all the way from Florida, Florida nigga in London, bitch, y'all should've never left me here, y'all should've never brought a Florida nigga out to London, man, I be to Paris, you dig, y'all should've never let me out here, man, no cap, you know why, you know why? Cause I'm doing some rich nigga shit. Nigga, piss on a hundred bands, nigga. Piss on a hundred bands while you walk, nigga. Piss on a hundred bands challenge, nigga. Who pissing on their money, nigga? Ain't nobody doing that shit like me, fuck boy. That stupid ass bitch, Cardi B. Happen. <laughs> Something, something. <laughs> Hell. Y'all yeah, hear that? Wait. Wait, hold on. <laughs> There we go. Game. Ba 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 What's the thing? I farted. What's up? Who gonna say something? Ah! I got fart. Y'all heard that? So remember seeing a video of Kodak Black flushing money down his toilet. It's like, are you fucking kidding me, a Kodak Black? We all know about Daniel Bregoli, aka Bad Baby. And all these hoes laughing like something funny. She's talking about the audience, that they're laughing at her. Did, did you say the, the, the hoes are laughing? Yep. So the audience are a bunch of hoes? Yep. Huh? Catch me outside, how about that? Catch you outside? Catch me outside, how about that? Catch me outside, how about that? Catch me, catch me outside, how about that, Dr. Phil? More like, fuck you, fuck you, bitch. Yo, catch you outside, how about you cash it outside the bank, bitch? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First, I want to give a brief shout out to Spirit of 21, Spirit of 21, you are an awesome bro. Flame Hat 97, you are an awesome bro too. I have been, I've known these two for the, for a couple of years now. I saw Spirit of 21's videos on, 
Ariana Grande. I've seen the Flame Man 97 videos on, on Metallica, pop music, rap music, and all kinds of stuff. Spiritu21 and Bud Langley are really awesome YouTubers. I highly recommend going to check out their content. Now, I don't make a lot of YouTube videos. I used to make a couple skits on YouTube, but I don't make a lot of YouTube videos on YouTube. But I am a I am a supporter of many, many content creators. And that goes out to Spirit21, Bud Langley, and Leon, and TG Venom, and many others out there. All right, let's get started. There aren't many things in this society. There's so many like people and celebrities and dumbasses and stands and a lot of crazy people in this society that I don't understand. I can't understand how there are some people out there, how there are many people out there that will act the way they do and do the things they do, be it for a publicity stunt, which is going to be the crux of this rant, because many of these people are known to be to do many, many idiotic things to become famous. And you'll see what I mean with some examples I'm given. And you guys are going to facepalm when you see um, some of the things that these people have done. And oh my God, you're going to cringe and you're going to facepalm at the stupidity of some of these people. Now, before I get into my list of people that I feel are deserving to be called out, let me just say, let me just say for the record, can we please stop fucking make, can we please stop fucking making these idiotic people famous for doing all these, these stupid things, whether it be through their music or through a sex tape or through drugging people can we please for the love of god this is why i can't stand the media at times i can't stand the media because they glorify the fuck out of these idiotic wankers these idiotic people who do these things who do all this shit for clout and for attention but this kind of clout is just one of the many reasons why i can't stand a lot of people in america and i can't stand a lot of people in society and even the world there are so many people in this world that are glorified and pray and even praised and sometimes even ranted on, but there's too much praise for stupid people who do stupid things and get famous. I mean, there's people like Kim Kardashian, um, Shane Dawson, Onision, Jake, Logan Paul, and Daniel Bergoli. There's idiotic politicians like Nancy Pelosi and Hillary Clinton. Even if they, even those politicians got famous for doing stupid, stupid, dumbass things. I swear. Everything from, from, from sex tapes to Benghazi emails to all kinds of stupid shit. And why is it, why is it that media is praising the living hell out of, I mean, I get it's America culture and pop culture, but why is America and the media glorifying these assholes? Like, it mind boggles me. It blows my goddamn mind. Some of the people in this world that get famous for doing the stupid, most idiotic things out there in society. And one of the biggest, biggest, biggest insults of these is that some people will, will use drugs like cocaine, marijuana, alcohol. Beer, wine, spirits, drugging people for clout and for attention. People will take advantage of others, like public welfare assistance, like with Octomom, which I'm going to get to in a bit. And just so many publicity, and talk about publicity stunts. Oh my God, the publicity stunts that glorify these people is what, is what especially pisses me the hell off when it comes to glorifying these dumbasses. First person I'm going to mention in, the, in people being made famous for stupid reasons is Snooki. So in July of 2010, she was arrested on a beach in Seaside Heights for disorderly conduct. 
she is well known on the show Jersey Shore. And apparently she got punched in the face and that clip aired on Jersey Shore, but I guess was also taken down. But she was made famous for her idiot for idiocy for her bad behavior on sea, at Seaside Heights. So her, so her disorderly conduct, she had to pay $500, a $500 fine and she had to do two days of community service. An episode of this was filmed on Jersey Shore. Wow. Just wow, 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 wow. This, this individual, this snooky individual definitely is in drag and is a, definitely whoring herself out. But we're just getting started. Now the second person I'm going to mention is Paris Hilton. So Paris Hilton was made was made stupidly famous when a sex tape titled One Night in Paris was was leaked in 2003. This this sex tape One Day in Paris caused her reality show The Simple Life to skyrocket. So Paris Hilton is known for quite a few things that made her stupidly famous. But I will say this whole One Night in Paris sex tape that got released publicly in 2003 really makes this, really makes this, um, this dumb broad, this dumb, uh, bimbo. This is what really makes her a bimbo and a whore. I don't mean to sound sexist, but this bimbo is famous for a really, really stupid reason. And it was because of a sex tape. Now get the fuck out of here with that shit. Okay, now this individual will really have you cringing hard. This is individual named Kevin Federline. He started a relationship with Britney Spears while he was already in a relationship. His ex-girlfriend was already pregnant with a baby. And he went out, out to date Britney Spears. Like, are you freaking kidding me right now? And for quite a few years, there was a custody battle for that child. And that relationship ended after two years. After he found out that, that, you know, he was dating Britney Spears. So this Kevin individual, is a, he's a fucking loser. And get this, Britney Spears was able to revitalize her career after the breakup. But Kevin went on to do nothing else with his life. So he basically fucked himself, legitimately fucked himself by trying to be in a multiple relationships. So both ended in failure for him. Now he's famous for a stupid... If that doesn't show that he's famous for a stupid reason, man, I don't know what is. Now this next individual, you guys you guys know her. She's very famous. Famous all, o- all over the web and all over society. Octomom. Now, the Octomom, she gave birth to 14 kids. You would think that's rad. However, she used vitro fertilization at 21 years old, which resulted in her having six children. So she was criticized for taking advantage of public assistance, and she even committed fraud for not disclosing $30,000 in income. But she... While she was receiving $26,000 in welfare. This individual. Now, I know what you're thinking. Andrew, why are you bashing someone who's got pregnant with a lot of children? Like, how does that any of your business? Blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you something. Sure, yeah, you have the right to have as many children as you want. But she committed fraud. She committed fraud. And now reporting $30,000. So she was criticized for a legit reason. In my opinion, she was criticized for a legitimate reason for using public welfare assistance while she's while she was doing this controversial fertilization for her birth. Honestly, I do find mom Octomom to be a scumbag, but we are just halfway through this list. This next individual is named Farah Abraham. She's famous for her series called 16 and Pregnant. She released many Many, many music and a memoir and sex tapes. So she's known, she was known for releasing a sex tape. And apparently she was let go from her show, 16 and Pregnant, 
because she st starred in an adult webcam series. So it looks like this Farah, Farah individual is motivated by money and sex tapes. So yeah, this Farah Abraham is, she's very, very cringeworthy individual as well. Now this next individual, you will be shocked at how cringeworthy this is. So get this, Courtney Stodden is a 16 year old who married a 50 year old individual. Courtney is 16 years old and he and she married 50 year old Doug Hutchinson. What the fuck indeed? What is that? Are people crazy? And get this shit, it only gets worse at this point. She's been known for signing up for acting classes, but really, what made her really famous was a controversial marriage. Now, Doug was labeled a pedophile by his family. And I can see why. If he's dating and marrying a 16-year-old. But it gets worse. Courtney Stodden's father went on to couples therapy. And in the second season of couples therapy. And actually supports the relationship. What the fuck? What in the goddamn fuck? He actually supports this, this like pedophilia relationship. Talk about a creepy relationship and talk about a really fucking dumb way to get famous. Holy mackerel. I say Doug should be fucking arrested for being a pedophile. I will have to agree with that. Now we are getting to the worst of the fucking worst. These next several individuals are so cringeworthy, I can't even bear talking about them. But let's get into it. Logan Paul is truly, truly a scumbag. You thought the people on this list were bad? The previous ones? Nothing is an alibi compared to Jake and Logan Paul. He is a scumbag for three major fucking reasons. There's no mercy on this one. His single, No Handles Bar, was criticized for being sexist and offensive, and I have to agree. I did listen to his song, No Handles Bar, and it is very sexist and very, very scumbaggish like But I think, the, I think the most famous one was the one in December 31st, 2017. He uploaded a video showing a body of a suicide victim in the Oigahara Forest in Japan. What the fuck? What the goddamn fuck is wrong with is wrong with him? And what the goddamn hell is wrong with people who make him famous for the shit? Filming a suicide? Filming a suicide? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking goddamn kidding me? And his apology video was not sincere. It was not sincere at all. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, um, uh, I'm sorry for, for filming it. I'm, I'm sorry. Fuck that shit. That Logan Paul, fuck you. You don't love Logan Logan Paul? Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, dickhead, and fuck you, asshole. You don't deserve the fame that you get, and you and Jacob Paul need to be gone from the gone from the goddamn internet. He also there was also a video of him poking a fish out of the water and tasering dead rats. Okay, that's it. Logan, Jake and Logan Paul, your asses are up. You, your asses are out of YouTube. I hope the petition works and YouTube can get your channel terminated. Fuck you, Jake and Logan Paul. Fuck you, too. Now, you all know this one. She's very famous. In fact, she's a fucking... She's a fucking ghetto meme. Guess who this is? Cash me outside, how about that? These hoes, these hoes, these all my hoes. Yep, it's the, it's the motherfucker herself. Danielle Bergoli, AKA Bad Baby. Now, she, <coughs> now she's known. She was made, she was obviously made stupidly famous on Dr. Phil when she made that quote, catch me as I have about that and her ratchet behavior towards her own mother and family. She even got signed on to Atlantic Records under the name Bad Baby. Even her s single, High Bitch, 
is her second, second biggest single in the United States. So she's famous. And she's a meme. For fucking stupid qu- quotes. Catch me aside, how about that? Her stupid ass gig name, Bad Baby. Her, 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 her lousy, ghettoish, whorish, stupid fucking attitude. And her, be- and her ghetto ass behavior. Like, bitch, you ain't, you ain't, you, you ain't tough. You ain't, you ghetto as hell. You, you ain't ghetto. You ain't tough. You ain't, you, you ain't, um, about the hood. So, 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 so knock it off with that bullshit. Thank you, Bergoglio. Just knock it the fuck off, bitch. Just knock it the fuck off with the whole, oh, look at me. Catch me outside. How about that? There. Catch me outside. How about that? No, how about this? How about, fuck, how about go fuck yourself? How about, can you go fuck yourself? Thank you, Bergoglio. On that bullshit. Yeah, can't stand this Daniel Bergoli. And before you fans come on this video, you Daniel Bergoli fans come on this video. If you damn Daniel Bergoli fans have a problem with my opinion on Daniel Bergoli, you can call the hotline 1 800. I don't give a goddamn shit about your opinion because I don't want to hear it. Now, y'all are familiar with Kim Kardashian. Chloe and Chloe Kardashian. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. These the Kardashian family, I do not understand how, how and why they are so fucking famous. Why do people, why do so many people in this country in this society still make these people famous? These Kardashian sisters famous. I can't understand it. She's the Kardashians are famous and infamous for so many different scumbaggish things, and I can't, I can't understand this country, and I can't understand this society. Why these people endorse Kim Kardashian? But anyway, let me get on my reasons why I say she's the most famous. So she's famous for her show, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Her father defended O.J. Simpson in his infamous trial murder. If that doesn't. Sh- Prove anything right there, I don't know what will. Anyway, in 2007, a a sex tape with Kim Kardashian and Ray J was leaked to the public. This generated intense internet interest for her reality show. And Kim has constantly been on the spotlight since 2007 for that shit. How is she still famous, so famous, and so out there to this day is beyond my comprehension. Is there any right person with a right sense of mind upstairs that can explain to me why Kim Kardashian is this great individual? Because actually, you know what? I don't even want to hear it. Because she isn't. And last but not least, I want to put Cardi B on this list. Oh man, this, this mongoloid, this crazy motherfucker is so bad, it's so cringeworthy. I would say it makes... Besides Jake and Logan Paul, it makes the people on this list look like saints, even though they're not. But it makes them look like saints compared to to the other people on this list. Cardi B is, I say Cardi B is already a shitty ass rapper. You've seen Spirit and Bud Langley's videos on their reasons why Kim Kardashian, I mean, excuse me, Cardi B. You've seen their opinions on Cardi B and how much of a shitty rapper she is. And I agree with them. Kim Car... I mean, Cardi B is one of the worst female rappers I've seen... I have ever seen in my life. Now, before you people assume I'm hating on female rappers in general, that's not true. I'm a big fan of MC Light, and I'm a big fan of many, many female artists. But Cardi B and Nicki Minaj are two that I cannot stand. Boy, oh boy, I cannot stand this Cardi B. Not only is she a terrible, terrible, horrible rapper, but she is a very terrible, horrible human being. And I'm going to explain why. She had a fight with a roommate. She was there was she was basically doing a bitch-ass cat fight against a roommate. I guess it was Nicki Minaj, if I remember correctly. And she was throwing shit at Nicki Minaj and saying a bunch of shit and calling her a bunch of cuss words 
I may not be a big Nicki Minaj fan, but I'll tell you right now, she's definitely not as much of a scumbag as Cardi B. And get this, it only gets worse. Not only her cat fight with Nicki Minaj occurred, but she was known to go to strip clubs. She would take men back to a hotel. She would drug them and rob them. What the fuck? Why is she famous? Why is she a role? Why do people, why do parents of people consider her a role model? You consider this bitch a role model? She drugs men and robs them. And she justifies things like, oh, this is what people used to do. She justifies these crimes that took, that would take place in the hip hop community and in many lyrics. Does she try to justify drugging people, getting into fights with Nicki Minaj and others, and many others in public too, may I say, the paparazzi type of thing, and robbing people? Cardi B, you are a sick, disgusting, puke, vomit-inducing individual I have ever seen. You're a shitty rapper and a shitty human being. Cardi B, you can... Fuck off the rap industry and fuck out of this planet Earth. In fact, you can take your stinky ass to Mars and get out of this planet Earth because people like you do not deserve to share the same air as people on planet Earth. I know that might sound ridiculous and harsh, but people like her, honestly, I don't consider her a decent human being. And I know there's going to be a lot of Cardi B stands that are going to attack me, attack me and Spirit and Bud Langley for this. But if you got a problem with that, well, too, it's too bad. Because I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear any justification for why Cardi B needs to be reverent as this great, holy human being. Is anybody that thinks that, you can keep your thoughts to yourself because I don't want to hear it. Cardi B, you're a scumbag. Quit the rapping, quit the music industry, get out of it, and get and get psychi- psychiatric help. So in conclusion, I can't understand why these people are as famous as they are. The media glorifies them. The media and many other people, they glorify these people like they're these holy saints. Like there's nothing wrong with these people and there's no flaws with anything they do. Whether it be a sex tape, whether it be drugging people, whether it be filming a suicide in the forest, whether it be abusing animals, and whether it be just just polynamious and controversial relationships, and or even being caught being a pedophile. So yeah, and committing a bunch of sexual acts and even violence. So all in all, for the conclusion for this rant, I don't understand why these people and why the media sucks up to these people I can't understand it and I don't want to understand it to be quite frank because quite frankly that is just unacceptable that these people are so goddamn famous oh all in all um fuck fuck some of these celebrities that are and people that are being made famous for really dumb reasons I would like to thank Spiritu 21 and Bud Langley, aka the Flamehead 97. I would like to give a special shout out to those two. I was I would also like to give a special special shout out to Leon Calavera and TG Venom, who share the same opinions that we do and viewpoints that we do. And even if we have different opinions on things, I respect their opinions because they're very mature and and very, very um logical when it comes to their opinions. You know, I try to be logical when it comes to my opinions also. I try to at least, you know, look at things. And if it's a rant or something, I'll try to back it up with facts. Rather than just bitching about these people over dumb reasons. But the reasons I gave were very legit reasons. And it is the same with Spirit of 21 and Bud Langley. So Spirit of 21 and the Flamehead 97. Thank you so much for having me on this collab. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for having me on this collab. I really do appreciate it. Go check out Spiritu 21 and the Flamehead 97. Also go check out TG Venom. I absolutely recommend their content. They have very good videos and very good points of view on many things. 
and I've enjoyed all their videos. And I think you guys will enjoy. When it comes to like stupid rap songs or stupid people being made famous or other rant topics, go subscribe to Spirit 21, Flame 97, and TG Venom, and you'll see many, many dope videos from these individuals. They're really cool people and really awesome people to subscribe to. And I think you'll enjoy many of their, many of their points of view and their videos. So this has been my collab with Spiritu 21 and Bud Langley, AKA the Flamehead 97. This was a rant on people, people and celebrities being made famous for stupid reasons. And boy, are there a lot to talk about. There's too many to talk about even for this video. But I think you guys got the, the gist. Because you saw examples of people that use so many different political and viral, you know, methods to make themselves famous for dumb reasons. So this is my collab with Spiritu21 and, and the Flamehead97. Guys, again, thank you two so much for having me on here. And I'm looking forward to hopefully opening up a new YouTube channel and creating videos like they do. And I am hopeful and I'm looking forward to hopefully doing more many more collabs with them. I will look Spirit 21, Bud Langley, and Flame 97. Shout out to you guys. Salute. And today I'm here for my part of a collaboration rant with Spirit 21 and Andrew Mavadat and we're all three going to be ranting on stupid people becoming famous. So, with that being said, let's going to get started with this bullshit. Alright, so stupid people becoming famous. It drives my head off the wall, even thinking about it. I didn't mean to laugh like that, but... Stupid people becoming famous makes me laugh, man. Just because how stupid these celebrities are. They don't even deserve to be fucking famous. Seriously. Like... I know me bring up old shit here, but I don't give a fuck, because why not? So, Daniel Bregoli, aka Bad Baby for example, this bitch is a great example of stupid people becoming famous because of how she disrespected her mother on Dr. Phil, and then shortly after that, she's probably sent away for a while to some program or whatever for like, bad teenagers. Or whatever the fuck, I don't know. But when she grown up a little bit, when she was like 16, 17 years old, she started to make fucking rap music and just fucking garbage, man. She has a song called These Hoes. And then another song that I fucking forget the name of it, but it's another one of her popular songs because she's supposedly a rapper. I know she's probably really fucking irrelevant these days, but I just had to bring her up because she's the perfect example of a stupid person becoming famous. Seriously. Dan Brigoli, aka Bad Baby, is the perfect, perfect, perfect person to describe as a cunt bitch that disrespected her mother. She's definitely a perfect example of stupid people being famous. Seriously, I mean that. I really mean that. I don't give a fuck if she's 18 or not now. She still needs to quit acting like a fucking moron in public and thinking that she's all hard and shit when she gets beat up in fights and shit. Seriously. Bad Baby is some try hard tough wannabe bitch, right? But yet, when she walks up to someone and tries to start shit, guess what? They whip her fucking ass. They beat the fuck out of her like she truly deserves before her thinking she's all cool and stuff when, it, when in reality it changed shit but a fucking crazy bitch making shitty music and then disrespecting people. That's a great example here of a stupid bitch being famous. Seriously. So... Another thing about stupid people being famous, another great example of it, is these mumble rappers, trap rappers, drill rappers. These rappers these days, they're also good examples of stupid people being famous. Mumble rappers, and particularly, or whatever, you know? 
But the point is, these mumble rappers are becoming famous. These drill rappers are becoming famous. These trap rappers are all becoming fucking famous because people give them all of the attention. They don't focus on the good stuff in today's hip hop. That's the problem with hip hop today. You got these shitty fucking fans. I mean, these fans of shitty hip hop subgenres. Mumble rap. Frap rap. Drill rap. Emo rap. Melodic rap. All of that shit you hear on the radio these days is fucking trash. And a lot of the rappers that make that kind of music are fucked up in the head. They do drugs. And other fucked up shit. They put guns in their mouth like they're all cool and shit. No, that's not cool. That's stupid, man. Seriously. It's stupid. Oh, I'm a little pump. I'm so cool. I'm going to put guns in my mouth. I'm going to act so fucking stupid. Yeah. Little pump. Perfect example of a shitty rapper that is a stupid fuck. Seriously. Man. Bad Baby, Lil Pump. These are two rappers currently that are fucking irrelevant trash. But I had to bring them up because they're both great examples of stupid people becoming famous. Man. I get tired of these fucking shitty rappers becoming famous even though they're stupid. I'm not saying that they're stupid to be disrespectful to them. That's not what this is. This is the truth, man. Nothing but the truth coming from me. Nothing but the truth. Mumble rap, garbage. Trap rap, drill rap, emo rap, melodic rap, and other subgenres that are horrible. And hip hop these days are fucking garbage, man. Like, what happened to West Coast hip hop? What happened to all these other good rappers and shit? You know, I don't fucking get it. So, stupid people are allowed to be famous now? No, fuck that shit. Fuck that, man. I can't stand it. People that don't deserve to be famous become famous. But people that deserve to be famous don't become famous? What the fuck? I'm, I'm not talking about myself. Because I, I wouldn't want to be famous. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be famous because... You got people down your throat all the fucking time. You got crazy people out here who stand you and try to kill you and shit. Nah, I'd never want to be famous. Uh-uh. Sure, the money would be great, but being in the media all the time and having crazy and deranged fans. No, that's not a good thing about being famous. So no, nah, I wouldn't want to be famous. I'm not famous and I don't want to be because of that fucking shit. Plus, you got other people in the famous world that are fucking morons, like these rappers that I'm just talking about here in this rant here. I know a lot of the shit I'm bringing up, guys, probably makes any doesn't make any sense, but I'm just stating the obvious here and the truth about Bad Baby and Lil Pump. They mo they both make dumpster fire music, and they also fucking go and act stupid and rap about Bad Baby raps about hoes and bitches all the time. And then you got Lil Pump coming up with crazy shit back in 2017 called Gucci Gang of All Things. Fuck that fucking song. I hate that fucking song. Fucking hate it. Seriously. So, what else is there really to say about stupid people becoming famous? Because I think I already brought up some good shit here, y'all. So, yep, this is the Flamehead 97. I think I'm going to go ahead and get going now, guys. I really don't know what else to say here, but yeah. Fuck stupid people becoming famous. So, yeah. Flamehead97 here signing out. Thanks, Spirited 21 and Andrew, for being in this club with me. And it's going to be on Spirited 21's channel, of course. I am the Flamehead97. And yes, I'll see y'all later. Later, YouTube. Peace.